I feel great today. I'm on cloud nine. How come it's not cloud six or seven or any other number? Hello everyone, my name is Ehab and this is English with Ehab where we talk about English, we practice it, and hopefully by the end of the lesson we learn something about it. The topic for today is going to be idioms and specifically we are talking about idioms that are related to weather. Now, keep in mind, uh, idioms are kind of like expressions. We don't want to look at each individual word. Um, and try to figure out what the definition is or what the meaning or even why. Um, and it goes back to the teaser, the little intro that I had where I said I'm on cloud nine, which is an idiom which means I feel good. Um, so sometimes students will ask me how come we don't say cloud eight or cloud seven or cloud six. Um, that's just the way it is. Uh, that's part of the idiom. Uh, it goes together, so we don't want to get rid of uh, whatever word is there, or whatever number is there, uh, because that's part of it. Anyways, uh, for today, I'm going to go over six common idioms which we use uh, in our everyday language. Um, they're very, very common, and they're all tied into weather. So I'm going to give you, uh, we're going to go through the idioms, give you an example, and then a little bit later in the conclusion, we will try to figure out what we have learned. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to the board. Okay, on the board here, we do have our six idioms and we have a definition for each idiom. And then right underneath that, we have an example for how we can use it in a sentence. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say the idiom and then you guys at home can just repeat after me, okay? Number one, head in the clouds head in the clouds. Number two, under the weather. Under the weather. Number three, cloud nine. Cloud nine. Number four, to be a breeze. To be a breeze. Number five, to take a rain check to take a rain check. And then number six, every cloud has a silver lining. Every cloud has a silver lining. Okay, so let's go back to the first one. Head in the clouds. The meaning for this idiom, uh, when someone has their head in the clouds, it means they are too optimistic. Um, to have unrealistic uh, ideas or an unrealistic idea. It could be just one. Now, optimistic means being positive, uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. I think being positive is great. Uh, but if you are too optimistic um, to the point where it is unrealistic, that's the key word here, uh, where something does not seem like it is real, that's when we say head in the clouds. Okay. For example, uh, John thinks he can lose 100 pounds in two months. He has his head in the clouds. Now, it's great if you are dieting and you want to lose weight to be healthier, but 100 pounds in two months is a lot. So this is an example of head in the clouds. Number two, very common idiom, under the weather. Under the weather means that you are feeling sick or slightly ill. Not too much, but a little bit. Uh, this is very common. I need to take a day off from work. I'm feeling under the weather or I feel under the weather. So we say this uh, when we want to take time off maybe from work, uh, maybe from school because we don't want to get other people sick. Um, maybe if you friends invited you over and you are not feeling well, we can also use this idiom and let your friend know, I'm feeling under the weather. I'm sorry, I cannot make it. Cloud nine. 
This is the one that I used in the intro. Uh, cloud nine simply means very happy, extremely happy. For example, I just started my vacation. I'm on cloud nine. Usually when we have a vacation, we're extremely happy because it means that there's no work, probably no school. We can do anything that we want. Uh, the fourth one, to be a breeze. If something is a breeze, it means that it is easy. Most of the time we use this with exams or tests. Um, that test was easy. It was a breeze. So we can really use it with anything. Uh, if you're talking about doing something and it seems very simple, you can say it's a breeze to do. But a lot of times we use this for exam tests in school. This is a very common idiom. Number five, to take a rain check. Uh, you guys can use this with your friends when you speak. You can use it in a store sometimes for a business. To take a rain check means to delay something, to do something later. For example, let's say that I am going to meet my friend. I'm supposed to meet my friend tonight. Uh, we have plans. We already talked about it and we have plans to have dinner. But something came up. Uh, I have to do work. Maybe I have an important test and I need to study for it. So I would say to my friend, sorry, I can't meet you for dinner tonight. Can we take a rain check? Which means can we have dinner another time? And that's what to delay means. It means do something another time. The last one, every cloud has a silver lining. Every cloud has a silver lining. That means you hope something good can come from or come out of a bad situation. Usually when we have a bad situation, we say that's it. It's really bad. But when we say every cloud has a silver lining, you're trying to be positive. Uh, you're trying to look at something good that came from something bad. For example, my first business failed, but every cloud has a silver lining because I learned a lot. So many times when you fail at something, um, it's bad because you did not succeed, but you learn, you learn. So maybe in this example, I learned about business. And so my next business was not a failure. It was something successful. Okay, so these are the six. Uh, in the next uh, part of the lesson, I'm gonna put six examples, and basically what we need to do is we need to figure out which one of these is gonna be matched with those examples. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to the conclusion. Okay, here we are. We finally made it to the conclusion. Uh, on the board right behind me are six sentences, okay? Um, you're not going to complete them with the idiom. What you're going to do is you're going to match the idiom with the situation that I describe here. Uh, again, the six idioms are head in the clouds, cloud nine, to be a breeze, every cloud has a silver lining, under the weather, and to take a rain check. So I'm going to go one by one. I'm going to read the situation and you let me know which idiom matches with the situation. Okay. All right. Let's try number one. Steve thinks he can get 10,000 subscribers in the first day of his YouTube channel. Which one would it be? that one. <laughs> so, head in the clouds. Because again, to get 10,000, that's a lot. That's a lot for not only one day, it could be a lot for one week, one month. Who knows? Some people could even be a, a year. Uh, that reminds me, guys, please subscribe to the channel and like the video when you have a chance. Number two, Sarah was angry when she failed the exam. However, 
the experience made her study more and get great scores after. So her first exam, she failed. She got a horrible score, but it made her get serious about studying. She got serious about studying and her scores after that first test were wonderful. They were great. So this one, every cloud has a silver lining. Remember, when we say every cloud has a silver lining, you are trying to tell me something positive from a negative situation. Uh, number three, I feel a little sick. I feel a little sick. Under the weather. Under the weather. Now, number four, it's kind of a continuation of this one. I feel a little sick. I'll hang out with you some other time. So this is me talking to somebody. Hang out means spend time with you, see you. So I feel a little sick. I'll hang out with you some other time. This one should be to take a rain check. When you take a rain check, it means delay something. Do it later for one reason or another. Number five, Tom's wedding is today. He is so happy. Usually our wedding day uh, for the people getting married, it is a very, very happy occasion. So, cloud nine. Number seven, the last one. Making scrambled eggs is simple. You just crack an egg in the pan and mix. To be a breeze. Or you can say, it's a breeze, meaning this thing, this idea. So we do use it for exams, but again, it can be used like something like this, right? Just means it's easy to do. Uh, I hope you guys learned something today. Uh, please, again, like and subscribe to the channel if you can. Um, and until next time, keep speaking English. Bye-bye.